Um, hello. I'm not stealing from you. I swear. I just saw your bag and there was something coming out of it. So, I grabbed it. There's nothing more, I swear. My name? I'm Ella Liz. Well, I'm a fairy dummy. Can't you see my wings? You've never seen a fairy before. Huh. You didn't travel enough, human. There are colonies of fairies everywhere in the realm of Idilis. Yes, yes. I know we are in the realm of Sugo. No fairies there, except for me. Well, um, I better go. Hey, don't grab me like this. I'm not stealing. Ugh, you deserve I cast a spell on you. Subsisto. There, it's better now. Sorry, dummy, but I had to immobilize you. You can still speak, though. Yes, I lied. I was going through your stuff. Oops. <laughs> okay, so let's see what you got in there. <laughs> A flask of water. That's useless to me. Some dried meat. Uh, I'll keep that. And an old watch. Oh, it's shiny. I'll take that as well. So, you're from Maleficia, right? How is life there? I heard that you were going to war with those orcs. It seems intense. I wouldn't go near those savages with their huge teeth and muscles. Ugh, it sends shivers to my wings. You're asking me why I'm stealing from you. Well, if you want to know the whole story, I was banned from my colony in Vidalis, so I came here, thinking I would find an appropriate welcome. How wrong I was. I could not find any sort of work here, so I decided to steal instead. Judge me if you'd like, but I've seen more warm-hearted humans in other lands. Sugo is not what it seems to be. Huh. Let's see what's in that pocket. Ooh, I'm getting close to something important, right? What could it be? Gold? Jewels? Or maybe a sweet picture of your loved one. I can see by the look on your face that I'm getting closer and closer. Huh. What is this? Stones. Is this what you were so afraid I would find? How disappointing. Those are elven stones? Ugh, I hate elves. Always so judgy and tall. They never take us fairies seriously. When I was living near the forest of Belaska, they would always say the same thing. You know, Ellis, it's not that we want to be right all the time. But eternal life has conferred us a knowledge that you will never reach and blah, blah, blah. How rude, don't you think? What are those stones anyway? 
Nothing. Huh. I don't believe you. You know, I could sell them. It seems so rare with their beautiful blue color. I could make a lot of money on the black market. No? Tell me the truth then. Oh, you're on a quest. I love quests. Please tell me what it's about. I pinky swear I won't sell them if you tell me the story of these elven stones. <laughs> wow, so they are precious. A gift for the Queen of Maleficia. But what will she do with it? Powerful stones. With that, she would be able to win the war against the orcs. That must be indeed quite powerful then. Well, that was a very interesting story. For that, I won't take the stones. But tell me, how do they work? Rub them and point like this. <gasps> By the fairy god, sorry about your hair, but it gives you a style to have them a bit burned like this. Oh, okay. Well, let me put the stones back in your bag. I already have enough troubles with my wand. Once, I wanted to make some ice cream, but I couldn't control my magic and I made it snow for a week. And the elves dare say that us fairies are not powerful. How stupid. Look, you seem like a decent human. If I free you, promise you won't go after me. Great. And may I keep the watch? Oh, thank you, human. Subsister. There, you're free. I'll leave now, but I hope you will reach your destination safely. And who knows, maybe we'll see each other again. <laughs>